So guys, I try to use this um, JPEG image into um, the background of my recently built storyline project. As you can see here, this JPEG image is um, is in a good size. It's not too it's not too big, so I was happy to use it. So I inserted that into my storyline project. As you can see here, it has the same name. Um, however, I found out that once I publish it into a, a web folder, uh, Storyline has converted the JPEG file into a PNG. And with that, it also means that the file size has increased. Um, so we're going to go here and see uh, and go into the folder that I have published um, prior. And I am going to go into this mobile folder here. I'm gonna find that image. Um, so Storyline has generated a unique um, name for each file. As you can see here, the image has become a PNG and not 200 kilobytes, but is now two megabytes. So if I go to my Chrome here, I'm just gonna move my camera there. I have uploaded the folder uh, into the bucket using Amazon S3 here um, and I'm gonna go into the story HTML file here and I'm gonna find this URL so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see the speed of the image load on the storyline so I'm going to let that load and what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to inspect. So we're going to have this uh, developer node here and I'm going to go to network and make sure you tick disable cache so it doesn't record uh, the previous history of loading these images. And I'm going to refresh this page. Gonna let, let uh, load. I'm gonna click resume here. I'm gonna go scroll to the top. I'm gonna click on the size one, two, and as you can see here, the image that we were uh, seeing previously is up here at the top and it's 2 megabytes and it takes 1.56 seconds to load so we're going to reduce this so what you do is that you're going to convert this um, image into PNG and as you convert it to PNG it's going to obviously increase the size so what you do, what I do is I use this image compressor the IO to compress that PNG image. And once you compress the image, so I've got this uh, 300 kilobytes PNG image. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go into my finder here, and your storyline output. I'm gonna copy this file. I'm gonna go into storyline output here. I'm going to paste into this temporarily. I'm going to go to into the mobile folder. I'm going to find that image. There we go. And then we want to copy the name. I'm going to rename this file. Oops, we missed that. Um, so we're gonna rename, copy. I'm gonna go there and put the name there. So we have an exactly same name, but different file size. So once I have the same uh, name uh, on this image here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this image into the mobile folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that image with this new image. 
place. And what you're going to do also, you're going to replace the image in the Amazon F3 bucket. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna go into this um, Amazon F3 on Chrome. I'm gonna go into the folder. And I'm gonna go into the mobile folder here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag and drop that. And it's gonna automatically replace the image that we have. So we have this image here. And I'm gonna say upload. And close that. And okay, so now we're gonna see if we can find that image here. 6L X8 is good to go. Gonna move that thing there, and as you can see here, the PNG image is activated. Now we have a 300 kilobytes uh, image. So we're gonna go back into this folder, and we're gonna go to store HTML, and you can grab the URL here or go back to the URL up here, and you're gonna do a hard reload so what you do is you click on here and hold it and then refresh so I'm gonna let that, let that load I'm gonna click resume I'm gonna scroll to the top and I'm gonna find this image here now is 373 kilobytes with the time load is just 592 milliseconds so guys that has reduced the load um, size by half so hopefully this is useful and uh, you can try using this trick to make your storyline story load faster. See ya!